Well, since Kininda isn't doing much investigating, we're just going to have to put the pieces together ourselves. Hello, Mzansi Unfiltered family. We are 48,000 strong headed over there to the 50,000 subscriber mark. And I'm so excited for that milestone. And I know we can only get there with you. But, but before I digress, let's talk about, you know, Ukeli Kumalo, or should we say Kingpin Kelly Kumalo, okay? Uh, Usenzo Meiwa on that fateful night and Uzandi Kumalo. Why am I picking these three specifically from that night? First of all, Tumelo and Umtoro, they don't have social media or should I say they don't have social media platforms that we are aware of. I mean, they could be the ghost accounts that they're ghosting right now, but, but you know what? We can't invest too much time on them. Let's focus on those. You know, they do say, that a liar this is somebody's comment and it said a liar always has something to say so you know what something happened in that house i also got this comment it says sisters please what if there is no cooking what if kelly really wanted senzo dead what if kelly really hired the hit or long way because this robbery gone wrong sounds like long way's plan after he brought the robbers to the house Okay, okay. There's four theories in one comment there. Okay, first theory, there is no cooking. What? There is no cooking? What if Kelly really wanted Senzo dead? Okay. What if Kelly really hired the hit or Longwe? Either Kelly or Longwe hired the hit. What, what does Longwe have to get out of hiring the hit? So we'll go to prime suspect number one, Kingpin Kelly Kumalo. And then Ozandi, oh, what's Zandi's role in this? I feel Zandi needs to have a role. A bit why? Why do I say that? Because she's too loud. She's too loud. If she wasn't loud, I would be like, okay, cool. Let's go to her latest post. Which in my opinion is unnecessary. But because it's loud and proud, let's go ahead and pick up what we can pick up from this comment, okay? I've been pondering on it. It's been, it's a four day old, um, not comment post that she did. It's four days old. I didn't want, I wanted to read it and take my time to get into it. So uh, let's get into it together. Shall we? Because you know, like Gininda, when he's answering those questions and he makes them long in the end, he gives us even more hints. Okay. Same thing. This is pretty long. I'm going to try to read it. Uzandi Kumalo says, sorry, sorry, how could I, how could I say that? Uzandi Kumalo Gomete, she says, Mina, I'm not going to apologize to South Africans for she. Hi, we are one guys. First of all, I never lied under oath. I gave my testimony to the best of my ability and recollection. Okay, let's, let's ponder on that sentence. She says she never lied under oath and she gave her testimony the best of her ability. She gave her testimony is the best that she could do. It's the best that she could do. So she believes in her testimony, aka she also believes pointing out Ubongani Danzi that Ubongani Danzi was the guy that night. So let's follow through with what she's saying. What else does she tell us? Mena Zandile Lorraine Kumalo. I was never part of any planning or masterminding Yogubulala Usenzo. If there ever was something like that, why would she say that? Because nobody ever said she was. You get it? Nobody fingered her. Not even the lead investigator. In fact, the lead investigator cleared her. But she takes to Instagram and types, Mina Zandile Lorraine Kumalo, I was never part of any planning or masterminding Yogubulala Usenzo. If there ever was something like that. Why would she say that? Nobody said you were. Then she goes on to say, my stance has always been clear. Mina Ugutingi Solabani, which is Senzo's ex-wife. Okay, 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 we get it. Whatever. That's quite lame. Actually, it shows your level of intelligence or lack thereof. But you know what? We keep moving. Nisolabani. And when my sus and when my suspicions are without any doubt proven to be wrong, I will sincerely apologize to her because my suspicions are not personal and don't come from a place of malice, but just want to make sure that police leave no stones unturned. Okay. So she's saying, Hey, if I'm proven wrong, and Omandi really, 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 really it wasn't part of um, Osenzo's um, demise, then she only then will she apologize. My question to you is, who said Mandisa needs an apology? Who put Mandisa in the WhatsApp group? 
because I've never heard Mandisa issue statements that she's looking for an apology from you guys. Mandisa was Senzo's widow. She was honored as his widow and I'm sure she was the beneficiary of the beneficiaries of the beneficiaries. Is this Uzandi's fight in this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just wondering, why is she dragging Umandisa into this and inserting herself and saying she will give her an apology? What is the value of your apology, Zandi Kumano Gumete? Who, who the hell are you that Mandisa would need that apology from you? Because us as the nation, okay, us as the members of the Mzanzi Unfiltered Public Jury, we do not care, okay? We've, we've never even taken you seriously, even when you make the accusations. Instead, we laugh about it. I've made videos about it because I think it's hilarious when you show your lack of intelligence. I'll give you an example in case you want to argue about the lack of intelligence thing because I see you not mentioning it here in your official public statement. The part where you said, I saw Mshololo in a plane who's paying for the planes. Not knowing Mshololo is being paid by legal aid, a.k.a. you. <laughs> Joke's on you, taxpayer. Well, you know what? Assuming you're paying your taxes. But you know what? Mom Keys is, 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 is in line to explain, you know, why she hasn't paid her tax bill. But you know what? Asiko lapo, asiko lapo. You know, that's a SARS thing. And only SARS can validate the tax situation ships, okay? But we'll just assume Ozande Kumalo pays her taxes. Um, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Because, you know, let me see where else she was. Where I was. Okay. Should she be investigated? You know what? She, she continues on the Mandisa chain thought. Should she be investigated and cleared publicly? Not behind closed doors. Okay. Who are you to command how the clearance must happen? See, this is where it gets confusing. Should she, See, when someone makes it all about themselves, it's kind of concerning. Because she says, should Mandisa be investigated and cleared publicly, not behind closed doors? I will then apologize to her. And that is the only person I'm prepared to apologize to. But until then, nimilela. Okay, okay. What about Uza Mogulembata? How about him? How about the fact that you were there at the point out of the pointations? You didn't point him out, but your mommy dearest did. Your mommy dearest pointed him out. How have you guys apologized to him and he, and how you changed his life? Okay, he, he's in line for a 17 million rand payout. Thanks to Kininda who on the stand and the oath cleared him beyond reasonable doubt. <laughs> You see how the plan works? He might be in a position in a few weeks or months or years to actually hire you and make you sing for the money. I mean, that would be so satisfying. If I was a Mughulim I would hire the Kelly Kumala sisters to sing for me. Whoo, that, that, that would be something. That would be something. But let's continue seeing what else she says. She says, another stance I have always been very firm on. See, she's a very firm woman. Everything she says, she says it with her chest and with conviction. She says, another stance I have always been very firm on and I am still firm on even today is the fact that I don't believe that Ukele Kumalo had something to do with this. In fact, I am 200% sure that she had nothing to do with this. Minage, I don't kiss ass and Angsabi Muntu. Mau beta nje, we are beta nje. Yes, as finish. Angina ndaba oguti ubani noma uyi nigimi. She is highly capable. Oh, she is highly incapable of such. But gay, here I'm personal because I'm talking about someone I know personally and have emotional attachments to. I'm, um, okay, before we get into the police situation, she doesn't mention Kelly Kumalo by name. She just says KK. She doesn't say Kelly Kumalo. Is there something going on between them? Is this a public appeal to her sister to say, sis, I believe you and I know you're highly incapable of it. I don't know why Gininda's on the stand mentioning your name every five minutes, sis, but I will stand firm on it. And it's a fact. I am also 200% sure that she has nothing to do with this. 200% sure. Whew. She's, she's very, and that Ukele Kumalo is highly incapable. Again, I ask, why is she speaking on behalf of Ukele Kumalo? Kelly Kumalo was the side chick. Mandisa was the wife. And I'm not, I'm not 
it's not about side chicks and wives but i'm speaking specifically my comments are specific to the kelly kumalo and mandisa situation because uzandi keeps inserting mandisa here so my question is if o kelly kumalo was the side chick and o mandisa was the wife no kelly kumalo was the baby mama okay we'll call it we'll upgrade a bit kelly kumalo was the baby mama and o mandisa was the wife who who of the two and that sounds like wrong english between the two of them who benefited more from the death of usenzo who was more enraged by senzo's behavior and wanted to see him dead i mean who attacked mandisa and had a court case about it what did mandisa do that would make us suspicious of her these are the questions i'm asking myself as i'm trying to piece together on what authority uzandi is speaking on other than being ukeli kumalo's sister and she says and and you know this is I mean, I mean, we do know that the brigadier just takes statements and puts them together, and then he formulates um, a corroboration. So, if Uzandi says Kelly Kumalo would never do this, and she's putting a number to it and saying it's two hundred percent worth, does that mean Kelly Kumalo is not the kingpin? I don't know, but let's keep reading because she has a lot to say. Zandi continues and says, "I'm a poisa will bring proof." <laughs> Okay, she's commanding them. Okay, okay, if you say so. I'm a police, I will bring proof. Substantiative proof. I a proof a peggy way. And Nisasho Namanji. And I want you to quote me verbatim. She said verbatim, but I can see. I just want to say verbatim, okay? Anyone, and I mean anyone that was involved in masterminding Senzo's death, if ever there was a masterminding. I want them behind bars. There lies the answer, guys. Let me read it again. You see, because she says she stands firm. She's very firm in everything she says. She says, anyone, and I mean anyone that was involved in masterminding Senzo's death, if ever there was any masterminding, I want them behind bars. I'm talking about the mastermind only because I'm 200% sure that those that are in the dock are the actual killers. She's now looking for the mastermind. She's now the new lead investigator in the Senzo Mayweather trial. <sighs> I can see why Geninda didn't take her leads when it came to Umandisa and the Nongoma connection. I, I can see why. Does anyone ever tell Uzandi that the court operates on facts and not emotionals? are not emotions or family ties. Has anyone ever told her that? It, it's facts only. So when she says anyone, and I mean anyone that was involved in the masterminding of Senzo's death, if ever there was any masterminding, I want them behind bars. You want them behind bars? Who are you? Who are you? I mean, if Senzo's mom said that, Senzo's brother, Senzo's cousin, Senzo's daughter, Senzo's son, I would understand. Zandi Kumalu. I want them behind bars. It's how she says it for me. As in, you're never going to find the mastermind, okay? It's from a place of knowing. It's from a place of knowledge. Because we know who the mastermind is and we're still not talking. It's been 10 years, allegedly. And then she goes on to say, I'm talking about the mastermind only because I'm 200% sure that those that are in the dock are the actual killers. So she just confirmed that the five accused are the actual killers and there's an extra person therefore validating what Gininda is saying on the stand. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? It's not me who's saying it. She's saying it. Because she says she's 200% sure there's a mastermind. She's saying there's somebody missing from the dock. And we need to pick up that breadcrumb, okay, and investigate. Remember what I said? When you talk too much, you leave breadcrumbs. She just told us right there. There's an extra person missing from the people in the dock. And Gininda says it's Kelly Kumar. But... Well, let's continue. Then she goes on to say, so whether it's someone unknown to me or my family member, or even, here we go, here we go, or even Senzo's family member. Why would Senzo's family? Never mind. I'm not even going to entertain that. Or even Senzo's family member, if in J it is proven beyond any reasonable doubt that they are involved in planning Senzo's killing, hi, it proof a pegiwe agaboshre. What? Lapoge angleli, footy angleli. Palawina, we want justice, la asizal. And that ends the reading of Uzandi Kumalo. I hope you didn't stand up for this reading. I, I truly hope you didn't. I know I didn't say it in the beginning because 
it's a whole ngane guane over here let me know what you picked up from some of the highlights that i highlighted from the speech from uzandi kumalo which i find pretty interesting but of course there's another comment i want us to break down okay let's break down this comment um let me see my time okay yeah i can add it here let me go ahead and add it to this conversation this comment says in the ongoing trial concerning the murder of Usendo Meiwa, allegations have emerged that Brigadier Bongani Geninda intentionally excluded descriptive evidence regarding the skin color of the alleged perpetrators. This exclusion is viewed by some as a tactic to strengthen the case against the accused. What did Zandi just say? She just said it's the five accused. Okay plus a mastermind let's keep going so this comment goes on to say selective evidence presentation critics argue that by omit by omitting details about the suspect's complexion geninda may be attempting to manipulate the narrative in a way that unfairly implicates certain individuals this has raised concerns about the objectivity and thoroughness of the investigation point number two because you already know they're coming through with the points ozandis was not in point form it was just one long paragraph um you know too much work for me to read but this one you know is nice and nicely notated comment goes on to say gininda's testimony Throughout his testimony, Gininda has made significant claims, including suggesting that Meiwa's murder was contract killing orchestrated by his then girlfriend, Ukeli Kumalo. His insistence on this narrative, while potentially disregarding other relevant evidence, has led to the challenges from the defense aimed to aimed at discrediting his investigation methods listen even the members of the jury we are discrediting his investigation efforts okay point number three defense's reaction the defense team for one huh the defense team for one of the accused, Uchals Nisi, is expected to challenge Geninda's evidence rigorously. He is not expected. He is challenging uh, Geninda's evidence rigorously, emphasizing any omissions or inconsistencies in his testimony. Amen, Umnisi. Umnisi Wempula. <laughs> This could play a crucial role in the shape in this could play a crucial role in shaping the trial's outcome and public perception of the case. These developments underscore ongoing concerns about fairness and justice in high profile legal cases, particularly regarding how evidence is handled and presented in court. If proven, that Gininda deliberately excluded critical evidence. It could have serious implications for the integrity of the trial and trust in law enforcement practices. That's where the comment ends. Now, let me know your thoughts. Of course, in the comment section down below, I will be joining you there. Happy December 1. Okay, get December. December is here. Woo! What are your plans? What are we doing? Um, I did mention in a previous video that for December, I want us to do a series titled um, We Listen, We Don't Judge. And I wanted um, to give space to people who have been wrongfully accused of something, been taken by the police, not read their um, a warrant statement or warning statement, you know, everything that you guys are putting in the comments, I want to turn it into videos. So obviously you'd have to come forward, okay, to the front of the line, to my DMs, or you can comment in this video. Um, and then we can turn your story into a video that I think um, is for educational purposes. That's why I want it to be, we listen, we don't judge for educational purposes because we learned, okay, this week that Patricia Mashali didn't sign her um warning statement oh we didn't know that was an option and we're learning as well that you know your constitutional rights we're learning so many things throughout 
watching the Senzo Mayua trial, as tragic as it is, but I believe it has a bigger presence um, than we already know. So yeah, that's. let me know your thoughts on that. Okay, drop a one if you want us to start that series. Um, and if you have a, a story, it can be anonymous, you can come to my DMs, okay? And then I will create videos on it. That's what I want out December. I want to include those kind of videos as well. Yeah, so let me end it here. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to catch up with you in the comment section. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thank you for all the love in November. I really appreciate it, especially getting us to 48,000 subscribers. I mean, it can only mean December. We're aiming for the big one, the big 50K. And are we doing this before Christmas or before New Year? I, I, I want it before Christmas, okay? Because I don't know what you guys are going to watch after Christmas. Because, you, you know? But, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love it when you do. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it this far in the video, please remember um, you have my heart. Um, if you've watched all the ads, thank you. Thank you so much. I am indebted to the court. I'll catch you on my next upload. What you guys did to our lives. Are you guys even aware of what you guys did to us Miss, as a family Miss, on that Miss, day? Miss, Miss Kumalo? Miss Kumalo? <laughs> Miss Kumalo? <clears throat> the damage that you guys caused. Miss Kumalo, you're not, you're not supposed to do that. You... My mother strongly object to this. <laughs> In the strongest possible terms, we object to this. Mr. Baloy, do you want to... As, as the business is still in the process of giving evidence. I, I, I don't know what my learned friend is objecting to. The procedural rules, the witness is testifying to court and addressing court, not the accused persons in the document. That's my objection. There you are. That's, that's fair enough, my lord. Ma'am, you're still <coughs> in the process of identifying the persons who came into the house. If you can just do that and refrain from further comments. Yes, you appointed to someone? Yes, he was one of the people that came yes. into the house. But he was uh, behind or he was at the back. And then this is a Just a minute, you're still pointing a person. Who is it? It's him. It's him. The second one there. Lois Lee, the